with fellow human Italians is like adventuring with your hero friends in the wild territory. You as a fellow includes a team leader often have to make a judgment call in a grueling situation. This story will tell you how one paladin and his team saved the world with the principle of decision making in a complex environment as being told by Fernanda Almeida, the sage of Al Andalus. One day while walking past the market, you and your companion hear town crier tell the story. Skydown stronghold on the south suffer from basilisk attack. More than a hundred people died. With yet another strange news, Everton village in the west was rampaged by a group of undead. Forty people died and more missing. Hey, we should go and kill that basilisk. Your ritual friend, pouring a lashly drug, says to you. Yes, right. More than a hundred people died. I think the north village needs more help than the south. Says Caleb, the human mage. Before you jump to a conclusion, you hear further detail. Although not many people died in Everton, the missing and dying people increased from 1 to 40 only in a week. Whereas in Stronghold, the basilisk already escaped back to its garden. Azalia, the half-elf ranger who lives more than 100 of years, turns to you and says, I've heard something like this before. There was once an army of undead spawned in the west near Exalti. You should investigate them. Your group decides to take a journey to the west, past the cursed ruin. You meet the family who is a caretaker of this ruin for ten generations. One of the elderly says to you, I heard my great great grandfather say that there was once a mighty necromancer named Volokish who was roaming this area. He can revive the undead with a group of heroes led by Utodor the Great. They slew it at the top of the exalted mountain. But the legend said, once in every hundred years, he will return and roam the land again. Let's head to Exalt Peak and kill it. Corinne shouts. There is a village there near Exile Peak. We should help the villager first, says the half elf. Yes, I agree with that. We should prepare ourselves first. The left strokes his long white beard. After a discussion, you and your group decided to make a brief stop at Everton first. Along the way, Corin, the dwarf, pulls your arm and says, Ah, oh, Lisa, I'd like to discuss again. Going to Everton is a waste of time. Because the decision was made and there's no point to discuss it again, you kindly refuse to him. Corin seems upset but accepts the verdict. Reaching Everton, your group split into two. You and your mage friend go directly to the town while your ranger and dwarf friends go to speak with the villagers. After gathering enough information, now you're definitely sure that, that this necromancer can turn all the cops into an undead army. The more people die and burn in this period, the stronger his army will become. Oh, I guess we have to send a message to Tamalu, the capital city in the north. Wait for a group of fighters and healers to come here. And maybe just don't let the village general yet. I think they can wait. With an impractical deed from Major, you strengthen the fact that disaster will soon happen if he waits. Also, you request a Major to warn the town folk and asking them to incinerate bodies instead of burying. Instead, wait for the whole army from Tamalil, supply us some portions and elixirs should suffice, says the elderly Mage. After well prepared with extra portions, now your group is ready to venture into the exile peak. Corin, the dwarf, is humming his song along the way with extreme confidence. Reaching the freezing cold cliff of the peak, the sky turns dark, the storm clouds are gathering, the lightning struck, 
and then Vorokis, the necromancer, appears. He laughs frantically, points his stuff toward your ranger friend, and casts paralyzed. Without portion of gravity, the half elf flees in motion. Why don't you prepare that portion? Calling Yell to kill it. He rages and takes a strike of the dark necromancer. He took the blow but yet seems to stand firm, gives a grin, and shoots the dark energy back to the door. It's not working. You should retreat and ask the villagers to surrender. The mage shouts. You shake your head, gathering your divine energy. The bright white light emanates from your sword. You take a full swing at Barakesh. The sword cuts through his trunk, excreting in pain. Use the holy effect! You shall. Here's the end of the story for now. What will happen to the hero's team and Everton Town's lines in your hands? Be strong, humanitarian friend.